Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Jace, and welcome to my channel. Here you are, Gamut Coverage. As usual, there are notes when hovering over the values, workable on desktop only. Do take note. FYI, I'm using X-Rite i1 Pro 2 Spectral Photometer with Display Call software, projecting at 60 inch on a white PVC projector screen, using a laptop through an HDMI port. This will be the standard for all projectors. Okay, let's talk about the color gamut. This is with Max Dice gamut. It has 119% gamut volume out of the box. Here is the sRGB range. It can support 100% sRGB if calibrated properly, since within the gamut volume. Let's have a look at B3 color profile now. It has 75% B3 coverage. For example, you won't be able to produce colors in this area. DICE has 66% Adobe RGB coverage. I'm not able to cover all the range, but this is normal. No worries. FYI, REC709 or sRGB is the common one that we use for SDR contents. Both of them are the same. So as long as your device can cover them, you are good to go. Get it? All right, here is Remax Dice white lever out of the box. The green color is more than red and blue. By the way, this is a common tactic to boost projector brightness. And here is the calibrated white lever. Not perfect, but much better than before. If you notice, the brightness dropped 20% due to that. Here is the color gamut. Both coverage and volume are there. And I will include them in the future projector reviews. Calibrated values will be included too. This is the white level of Wampo T6 Max. Almost perfect out of the box. No calibration can be done. And here is the color gamut. It has 53% sRGB coverage, which confirmed my analysis of using a 45% NTSC LCD panel. There's a reason why I don't like this kind of panel. You won't get vivid colors and it does not have enough coverage to do so. Oh well, what you pay is what you get. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See ya.